Hello everyone, it's Walt once again bringing you 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself by Steve Chandler, this little review series. Here we are, 30 parts in, so you probably knew all that, but whatever, it's introduction stuff. So, what are we talking about this time? This principle is to deprogram yourself. And he talks about this one specifically when it comes to the news, because so many people watch the news these days, and this is even more relevant than when this was written, because news has become so polarized. You'll even see this in countries that don't have a money and politics component. Ones like Great Britain still have a massive kind of influx of um, splitting of news organizations. Now, you can argue what you will about... Um, Britain these days and stuff going on with Brexit, at least relevant when I'm shooting this video, but regardless, I wanted to say that um, a lot of times news is a huge factor in politics, in day-to-day -day life, but it's also a huge factor in your mindset. So the job of the news these days is to get high ratings, because high ratings means they can sell more ad time and make more money. So a lot of news is trying to get the most views. Now. News organizations used to go with this whole like Walter Cronkite kind of idea of what like, just the facts kind of thing, and we're going to tell you an unbiased approach. Well, now news has become extremely biased on either side of the aisle or whatever kind of spin. There's so much news that's biased. Now, I know a few sources that are try to be more unbiased, so if you're going to listen to the news or take anything that way, I would recommend that. But regardless, the news is usually just not worth your time because what it's doing is it's trying to make you fearful so in times of like high stress in times of like natural disasters things like hurricanes the news just reports on it all the time and that gets more views so the news realized that whenever there's a disaster people tend to watch more so what they do is they try to play up everything on a day-to-day -day basis as being a disaster even journalists who are really going for a strong approach of trying to be truthful have a hard time with this because they need to get ratings, okay? So fear really sells. And so that makes the news organizations usually peddlers of fear, regardless of what they're attempting to do. So the idea here is that we can simply deprogram ourselves, get away from this hypnotic cult, as uh, Steve Chandler here calls this one. Let's get away from it. Let's kind of just, you know, decompress from that idea. And then he says we can even take it a step further to make our own news. Now, I find this one to be maybe the more useful idea. I mean, I have never been a big consumer of the news besides financial news, which is usually not super negatively spun. Those people are usually making money either way, so they're kind of pretty content with whatever. Um, but regardless, the um, idea of making your own news is that you can create your own news, you can create these things saying, and then I did this great thing, and then this great thing happened, and you're telling yourself a positive story, and it works just like an affirmation, or like the principles like one and two on like the whole true lie kind of components, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's method of creating who you want to be. So that's a huge part of it, but if you watch too much news or like any news that's super polarized, I recommend you decompress from it a little bit. Like don't just like taper off of it a little bit, okay? Like you'll realize that so much of the news can be really negative and it's not worth your time spending on that, okay? That's about it for part 30, guys. I will see you guys next time with part 31. So stay tuned. I'll see you then.